By the end of the 18th century, chemists believed that the definition of an element was a substance that couldn't be broken down with ordinary chemical means. Let's use the example of iron, which was heated up to create things such as horseshoes. Also, chemists believed that it, it was clear that elements combined to form compounds that had different chemical and physical properties than the elements that formed them. Let's use the example of bronze, which was created with tin and copper, which were also heated up to make bronze. But even though these ideas were so thoroughly accepted, there was great controversy as to whether elements as to whether elements always combine in the same ratio when forming a particular compound. By the end of the 1790s, the study of matter was revolutionized on a, on, on a quantitative analysis of chemical reactions, and three basic laws were created. The law of conservation of mass states that mass is neither created or destroyed during ordinary chemical reactions or physical changes. Let's say we have some hydrogen atoms and some oxygen atoms with opposite masses that bind together to form water which has the combination of the two different masses. Also, we have the law of multiple proportion that states that if two or more different compounds are composed of the same two elements, then the ratio of the masses of the second element combined with a certain mass of the first element um, is always a ratio of small whole numbers. This can be explained by saying that if we have one gram of carbon and add it up by both 1.333 grams of oxygen and 2.6636 grams of oxygen, we can create both carbon monoxide and car eh, and carbon dioxide. Also, we have the law of definite proportion which demonstrates the fact that a chemical compound contains the same elements in exactly the same proportion by mass regardless the size of the sample or the source of the compound. Let's say that we have two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen and add them, up, add them up with fire to create gaseous water. Thank you.